What if I was to tell you the best way to make money with ChatGPT is to talk about making money with ChatGPT? ChatGPT. 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 With all joking aside, I've been using ChatGPT for months and I know a bunch of other business owners that are as well. And I can tell you it is really good at performing certain tasks. And these are tasks that you could come in, start a side hustle or a business with, and it wouldn't require any startup cost and it's really easy to do. And the first one that I'm gonna talk about is prompting operations consulting. And what this basically is, is where you're gonna go to business owners and you're gonna consult with them on how to make their day-to-day -day operations more efficient using ChatGPT and specifically coming up with prompts that are tailored to their business. And there's honestly so many different ways you could do this. You could work one-on-one -on -one with them, or you could start a service, or you could make tutorial videos, or you could create prompts for different types of businesses in order to get leads to your business. And let me show you exactly what I mean. So there's this really cool extension that you can download on Google Chrome called AI PRM. So you would download the AI PRM for ChatGPT, Google Chrome extension. You're gonna go ahead, add it to Chrome. And then on ChatGPT, you're gonna see all these different automated prompts that people have already figured out and created to make it super easy for you. So for instance, here is a YouTube script creator. This one has over 200,000 comments. This is a human written 100% unique SEO optimized article and it has 1.4 million comments. And here is a mid journey prompt generator and it's got 449,000 comments. And what people are doing, and this is really smart, is they're actually using this to get leads to their business. So as you can see, Kenny created this. And if you click on Kenny, it's gonna take you to his website. So I'm guessing he probably owns this business. So this is scholarly beta. I have no idea what this is, but he has probably gotten a ton of leads just by linking this to the prompt that he created. And this one right here is one of my favorites. So this is the buyer persona legend. And basically it's just asking you what your business sells and where your clients are. And it will actually, create a buyer persona for you. And if you're in marketing, you know exactly what this is. This is incredibly difficult to do. And I was amazed at how accurate this is. So for instance, let's say your business sells tech certifications and your audience is in the USA. And this is what it came up with. And as somebody who is friends with people who actually sell this stuff, I've sent it to them and they're like, wow, this is actually crazy accurate. So name, age, occupation, annual income, marital status, family situation, location, personal characteristics, you know, detail-oriented, ambitious, self-motivated, and analytical, hobbies, interests, personal aspirations, professional goals, pains, main challenges, needs, dreams, budget, aka what they're willing to spend every single year on their education, shopping frequency, preferred channels, online behavior, search terms, preferred brands, triggers, barriers. Now, of course, it's not going to get every single thing right, but it is going to create a buyer persona that's relatively close to what your audience is, and then you can kind of adjust from there. And this is the kind of thing where you could become a prompt operations consultant. You could sell this sort of thing, or you could even sell packages that include this and many other things. And if you don't think you could make money with this, there's literally a girl named Miss Excel online that made $100,000 a day by selling Excel-related courses. And Excel is something that's been out for probably like 20 years now. And AI and ChatGPT are gonna be bigger than Excel ever was. So if you don't think you could make good money by doing something like this, I don't know what to tell you. There's gonna be a massive amount of opportunity for this. Now, another thing you could do to make really good money, and this is one that popped up recently, is you could do blog, email, and newsletter repurposing. So what I mean by this is there are many creators out there, for instance, on YouTube, that make great YouTube videos. And what you could do is you could use ChatGPT and products like ChatGPT to automatically transcribe those YouTube videos, change them up a little bit so that they match the format of the content of what you're posting on. For instance, if it's a blog post, you need to make sure that it's SEO optimized. And if it's a newsletter, you need to make it very user-friendly and very readable. And then you would automatically post it on their other channels. So YouTubers, for instance, are way too busy making YouTube videos. And you could just transcribe the script of that YouTube video using a tool like otter.ai. And then you would copy the transcript of the YouTube video into something like ChatGPT and tell them to rewrite that as a newsletter. And then you could do the exact same thing as a blog post. And then ideally, you would be doing this as a service. So you would actually have access to their email list as well as their blog 
and you would just automatically post it for them. This is something that would be super valuable to YouTubers. And you could even do a profit share type of thing where you get to make 10 to 20% of whatever you earn off of that in the affiliate commissions. Now it's always going to require a little bit of human supervision. You have to make sure that everything is good, but AI would be doing like 80% of the work for you. Now the next one on the list is going to be a skill that just about nobody out there has. And I've been harping about this on my YouTube channel, hoping that maybe a few people out there listen to me, but I know a bunch of other YouTubers and one of the positions we cannot hire, it's super difficult to hire for is script writer. So you could use chat GPT to write YouTube scripts and YouTube descriptions. Now I have been using chat GPT to do a lot of the research for my YouTube videos and to help me write my YouTube scripts. And at the end of the day, you do have to curate that information and make sure it's good. There's no such thing as like writing a really good YouTube script with one click, but it can help you to write better YouTube scripts and it can help you do it like five times faster. So you do have these prompts, for instance, uh, William Cole made a YouTube script creator. And for super, super basic YouTube scripts, this can be okay. So let's type in the name of a YouTube video, five best ways to make money with ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. All right, so it looks like the first one is chatbot development. Number two is gonna be content creation, not bad. Number three is online tutor, not sure how you would use ChatGPT to do that. Number four is gonna be copywriting. And number five is language translation. So these are okay suggestions, but realistically speaking, you would definitely need to do much more research for this. But what ChatGPT is really good at doing is coming up with stories, metaphors, analogies, historical anecdotes, things that can make your content much more engaging. So for instance, if I'm researching a video on AI, I can ask ChatGPT, what are the top five best AI related books? And number five looks interesting, Life 3.0, being human in the age of artificial intelligence. And then I'm going to ask it to summarize the fifth recommendation in bullet points, right? And it's talking about how life 1.0 represents simple biological life. Life 2.0 represents cultural evolution and life 3.0 represents potential for technological self-transformation. So this is really interesting stuff that you could use to make a YouTube video. I'm also going to ask it, what are five interesting quotes from the book? And I really like quote number five, the rise of artificial intelligence will be the best or the worst thing to ever happen to humanity. We do not yet know which. And then here I asked it to find a historical anecdote of a situation where technological advancement was made and it actually created more jobs than it destroyed. And it gives me the example of the Industrial Revolution and it explains its logic. So you may not be a writer, but I think you can see the value of this. I mean, this is insanely good when it comes to helping people write scripts. It's not just going to write the script for you, but it really helps you come up with high quality ideas of things that you can talk about in your YouTube videos. And if you don't want to write YouTube scripts, what you could do is create YouTube descriptions and make sure that they're SEO optimized. This is something that is super tedious and a lot of YouTubers don't want to do it, even though they know it's probably going to help the video by like five or 10%. It's so tedious that they just decide to not do it. So you could go to a YouTuber, you could tell them, hey, I notice you don't have any SEO optimized YouTube descriptions and you could offer to do it for them and charge them like $20 per video. And there are several different prompts that are already made to create really good YouTube descriptions. And of course, if you got very serious about this, you'd probably just make your own prompt. Now, the next one on the list is going to be resume writing and portfolio creation. Now, this is one where it's best if you niche down and you make resume or help with portfolio creation for a specific career. And the more niche you get, the better. And starting a general resume writing business for like all different types of careers probably isn't going to get your clients that much success. Now, there is a ton of different prompts to help you to write resumes. Now, there's the cover letter creator, resume summarizer, resume builder, resume human rewriter, optimized resume resume and cover letter writer. There's a creative resume generator. Now, if you've ever gotten good at applying to jobs, you'll know that you need to customize your resume for each position that you apply for. And so you wanna make sure that the whole resume is really good, but then there's certain parts of the resume that you can tweak and customize depending on the position that you're applying for. And this is where a tool like this comes in. So you could help people write their resumes. That's a really good business. There's lots of people who make money doing that. But another thing you could do is you could actually apply to positions for people. And this is a super tedious process because like I said, you have to rewrite your resume every single time you apply to the position. And that's where a prompt like optimized resume and cover letter writer comes in. So you'd go ahead and find a job posting. You would click on this one. Now you can use chat GPT for this, or you could use a tool like resi.ai and you could charge people really good money to just simply apply to a bunch of jobs for them because it's super tedious and you would be able to do it relatively quickly if you're using a tool like this. So the first thing you'd want to do is you'd want to ask, ask ChatGPT what the five
five most important skills are to get hired for a job. So in this particular case, we're gonna do IT help desk. All right, so these are the technical skills that it says you should learn. And now I'm asking it about five different portfolio projects that I could do in order to maximize my chances of landing a job. And here are five ideas for portfolio projects. And the crazy thing is the first one on this list, I happen to know for a fact is a great portfolio project because this is what my friend Josh does. And he gets people jobs in IT in sometimes less than two weeks, right? So these are actually really high quality suggestions. And this is the kind of thing that you could consult with people on. And in this modern day portfolios, a lot of the time will make or break your chances of getting a job. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a massive one. And that is integrating AI into products and websites. Now, there's always ways of doing basic API integration. And then there's definitely more advanced ways of doing it as well. But there are AI startups popping up left and right. And this could potentially be a service based business that you do. And they basically will tell you how they want AI to be integrated into their product and you would make it happen for them. Now you might think this is gonna require a ton of software development and computer programming knowledge, but actually it's relatively simple. It's kind of like using WordPress if you've ever used that for a website. And if you don't know how to do it, well, you could actually just ask ChatGPT how to do it and it will tell you exactly how. So the first step is you sign up for an API key, then you choose a programming language, then you set up the API client, then you send requests to the API, and then you display responses to your website. Now, all of these ideas, I can almost guarantee you there are going to be people who become millionaires from this. So you can run with this. You can do it as a side hustle. You can make a little bit of extra money on the side. You, maybe you can get a job doing this, or you could just start a business and potentially become a millionaire. And an example of a business where I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be evaluated at over a billion dollars someday is Jasper.ai. This is a writing tool that uses AI, and I'm pretty sure they just use ChatGPT AI integration, and it actually produces really good writing. I have tried it out myself, and it produces pretty high quality blog posts. It is something where you have to have a little bit of human oversight, but it really speeds up the process and it makes the blog posts a lot better. Now, if you're interested in getting a really good remote job, I actually made a video on the 13 best remote jobs for beginners, and you can check that out by clicking right here.